Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, checking out the new beta release of the upcoming MX-16. What's beta? Beta is just what it sounds like. It's pretty good, but it's still got some bugs to work out. You guys want to download a copy? You can head over to our brand new DistroWatch listing, look for MX. Yes, that's right, and MX Linux is no longer a edition of Antix. It is now a separate distro based on Antix Linux. Uh, so, got the, still got the best of both worlds. The best of the old Mepis community, the best of the Antix community, producing this nice XFCE distribution MX Linux. Check us out on DistroWatch. Help us work our way up from number 284, or whatever we are on the page. You can head over to the new website. The website's been redesigned uh, to help you find what you need to find. Download the ISO, stream it on a BitTorrent, or buy it from osdisk.com. And also all the wiki entries, help files, and the user manual are being updated as we speak for the next release. Final release we're hoping before uh, sometime in December. Uh, so help us get some beta testing done. Download the new ISO and help us get some beta testing done. So on the on the new welcome screen we have a user manual, a link to the user manual, which is pretty darn uh, uh, amazing. Opens up in our MX viewer. You can you can click and it's a big HTML document and you can find what you need to find in there. The wiki takes you to your more oddball items, and also a, little, most, a lot of people don't know this, but all the help files for the MX apps are in the wiki as well. So you can click on help files over here, and you get the help files for all the MX apps. Uh, the tools, of course, takes us to the tools manager. I'll show you that in a second. The forums is our new forums at mxlinux.org. Videos, not only my videos, there are a lot of my videos because I do more videos on MX Linux than probably anybody else, but there are other community contributions. Please donate. It costs money to keep those servers up and running. And we have the popular apps, which will take the root password. This is the simple, we call it the simple package installer, the MX package installer. Sometimes we'll refer to it in the forums as MXPI. Or MXPy, but it's got the quick links to common apps. Not all of them are in the usual Debian stable repos. Uh, uh, for instance, in under browser, we have Google Chrome stable, Slimjet, cool, Pale Moon, all those easily to install. Got some meta packages, a bunch of pre prepackaged stuff for uh, for kids, including Scratch. If you kids like to want to learn to program, the Scratch. Uh, programming system from MIT is great. Got some docs thrown in there. Uh, a lot of this stuff was available under MX15. Under kernels, we have some new options, and all of these options are dirty cow free, so to speak. The fancy schmancy uh, Linux bug that everybody was talking about last week is last week's news when it comes to MX15, uh, MX16 rather. Uh, all the kernels in the package installer. I'm not going to say they've all been purged off out of the repos, but all of them that are available for quick install and including the default kernels and the default fallback Debian kernels have all been patched. Uh, under let's see what else is new in in the package installer under miscellaneous. We've got uh, VirtualBox direct from Oracle. We've got an up more up to date version of Wine than is in Debian stable. Um, uh, let's see, under screencast we have OBS Studio and Simple Screen Recorder for you, you know, Linux podcasters out there, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we've got your tool of choice here built in, um, in the repos, uh, uh, remote access apps, team viewers in here, oh my gosh, just all kinds of stuff, uh, in, in here, a little utility link, synapses in here. Uh, Streamlight from the Annex world and ad the adver advertising blocker from the Annex side of things is in here. All sorts of things in here to uh, to make life easier to click. 
Oh, Skype. That's what I was looking for. Skype's in here. Still Skype 4.3 because the Skype Alpha still doesn't work all that great on anything other than 64-bit. Uh, and honestly, I couldn't get my video camera to work, so we're sticking with a stable Skype for now. Anyway, that's MXPI. Default look, though, is something I want to show you. It's kind of new. A lot of people don't like the vertical panel, so if you don't like the vertical panel, click the display horizontal. Bam, there it is, displayed horizontal. It also, there's some other things. We have a default light theme and a default dark theme. The th dark theme is what is shipped. It's a modification of Adwata Dark, XSV Dark, uh, with special grips so that it's easier to grab the corners of the windows. And also, because a lot of dark themes don't work well with Firefox, you get a lot of form fields that are blank. There's a little Firefox tweak here that if you click that, it's optional because it's not everybody will like it. You click it, it will force a light theme on just Firefox. Um, yeah, that requires a restart of Firefox, but it require it puts a for light theme on Firefox so that all the form fields work right. Like say the YouTube form field with the dark themes. A lot of dark themes you get white text on a white field. Um, at any rate, I'm gonna flip this panel back to vertical. That will, unlike an MX15, that will preserve your customized launcher plugins if you happen to put any on there before you flip it to default. Uh, it's not as full, on that regard, it's not as full featured as the full panel orientation app, but all sorts of new stuff in the MX apps. MX notifiers receive some updates. We have a new clock uh, doohickey here that you can, you can, you can put the clock on the on the desktop. I'm going to close the clock because it's in the way. Uh, let's see, MX. Uh, you know what? We're going to open the tools. MX tools, get all the one shot look at everything. We have some new live USB updater uh, maker. We have a new USB kernel updater, so that lets you update the kernel on a live USB that was very difficult in the past. We're aiming to make it a lot simpler, thanks to BitJam over at the Annex boards for that. Uh, updates to Flash Manager to deal with the newer Flash setups from Adobe with Pepper Flash being back in the mix. Um, again, we have the Panel Orientation app, which also does the horizontal vertical, but also allows you to do backups and restore the default panel. If you get things royally screwed up and you need to go back to the default panel, you can click here and click Apply and get that done. You can also back up your panel. If you don't have a panel backed up already, the first time you run this app, it will back up the panel for you. Uh, all sorts of new stuff. Uh, uh, some stuff is new. Debian backports installer and test repo installer are apps for installing from the, the testing repo from MX15. Uh, we, we referenced a lot in the forums. Uh, this is hopefully an effort to get more people looking at those test packages so that they're easier for people to test. That is available at MX16. And if you really, really need to, in our repos, we try not to have to bother with it, but if you really, really need to go back to Debian Backports, you can with the Debian Backports installer. You don't have to futz with enabling repositories. You don't have to screw around with command line options. We've got this here for you to do. And also the USB unmounter tool, which is kind of cool. You click on the little thing. I don't have a USB plugged in right now, but you click on this little thing down the tray and it'll give you the remove device marks. Um, kind of akin to the uh, safe remove USB devices from Windows uh, 7 and up. That's the new stuff in tools. Uh, what's new in the uh, distro? Well, you can find out for yourself. Download it and help us test it out. If you, there's a few odds and ends. LibreOffice is up to version 5, LibreOffice 5, for those of you keeping score there. Uh, we've still got Clementine. We've still got all the apps that you know and love from the past versions and a few more odds and ends that you're going to find in the system. It's still a beta. I'm not going to be exhaustive about it. Did I mention the outstanding Annex Live system is incorporated in MX Linux? the best live USB system on the internet in Linux. Also, the remaster system and the snapshot system for turning your installed system back into a bootable ISO <laughs> with all the Annex live USB goodness. Check it out. More of that stuff to come. Check out the beta. Go to mxlinux.org. Download the beta. Have fun with it. Post bug finds in the forums. There's a thread in the forums for that. And enjoy. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.